Today we are going to style denim because I believe that every woman has such a basic item in her closet and it will be easy for you to recreate the outfits that I will be styling today. But before we start, do we even know how denim became denim in the first place? No, we don't. So, there was a guy. Of course, there is always a guy, right? <laughs> so there was a guy who was selling his cotton from city called denim meaning from Ning, city in France. And he was selling his cotton to build tents during the gold rush in USA. So when workers had their tents built from the rest of the fabric, they were patching their pants that had holes in them. And then the guy had the brilliant idea of making pants, aka jeans, for workers. So at the beginning, denim was just an ultimate working class fabric, really. But later, James Dean popularized them in the movie Rebel Without Cause and also Marlon Brando in the movie The Wild One. The Wild One. Yes, The Wild One. Yes, I did my homework. Thank you very much. Oh my God, the guy. The guy is Mr. Levi Strauss. I almost forgot to mention that. Thank you, Mr. Levi. You made it so easy for us. And the rest is history. We have it all. Jeans, pants, skirts, tops, shirts, you name it, we have it. So that was a brief story of how denim became denim. Now that we know that, thank you to be here. Please like, subscribe, do all of that and let's get straight into the video. Cowboy boots have definitely reinvented themselves, at least on the European fashion market. But that doesn't mean that we should wear them full cowboy look. Mix and match different styles and textures will open up whole new style opportunities. The first thing that comes to mind is to pair them with anything short or with flowy long dresses. Pairing denim skirts with cowboy boots is an obvious choice, so that's why I actually chose it today. We can balance it with a boxy blazer and a headband that reminds me of my childhood really. If you like to follow trends without breaking the bank, then a headband is a great accessory that you can add at the moment. Add some shades and earrings and that is pretty much of a trendy look right now. If your boots are statement like these ones, then let them stand out for themselves. Pair them with a basic blazer and a neutral top. Ruffled top will also look great with cowboy boots or silk one. Also anything leather like a coat, belt or a handbag. Texture has a lot of impact on the outfit but somehow we often forget about it. I understand if cowboy boots are not your thing. I do think that they can look costumey sometimes and they remind me of festivals a lot, but why not playing with fashion and trying new things? I was not ready to invest in Isabelle Marant yet, which are my favorite type of cowboy boots. I think she nailed them to look perfect and cool, so I decided to settle down for this affordable one before I commit to the trend. And in case you're a huge fan and already own a pair and thinking to get another one, then I believe that black leather pair can never go wrong. I just have to mention that I am aware we could see hair ribbons around my elbows all the time. Fashion mistake to avoid. <laughs> okay, moving on. My second outfit with a mini denim skirt is with a basic black tank top. There is no much to say about it except that you must have them. It's like a starting canvas and as a continuation to that canvas I would add these beautiful Stuart Weitzman over the knee leather boots that are classic but still designer oriented. As a layer and element that will complete this whole story, I chose cropped jacket in red. In my opinion, cropped jackets are truly a timeless piece that never go out of fashion. In combination with a mini skirt, cropped jacket look modern and cool. To accessorize my outfit and complete the look, I added a belt with metal hardware. A belt is a timeless accessory that can add a touch of character to an outfit depending on the style you choose. Until 50s, belts were only wearing men, as the women didn't wear pants yet. Only later, when women began wearing pants, they also started wearing belts as well. I could be wearing a long coat instead of jacket, but that will be playing safe, and I like my outfit to be interesting and impactful. Red is one of my favorite color to pair with denim, but also pink and white. Both of these colors are classic, and that's why they fit perfectly together. Well, if we consider denim to be a color, right? Which it is, it's a blue color. 
But there is a detail to be careful about when buying crop jacket. If you're tall and have long arms, as I do, a crop jacket may look too small on you. So pay attention to the length of the sleeves when buying crop jackets. I usually take my jackets and coats to the seamstress to have sleeves lengthen, but I was lucky that this one was long enough. Also, by adding a structured bag instead of slouchy one, you can achieve more refined look. I decided in black, which goes well with my boots and tank top. Why denim on denim is called Canadian tuxedo? Let's briefly touch on this story. Actually, there was an incident that happened and it involved three factors. Hotel Vancouver, famous singer and actor Bing Crosby and double denim. Apparently, after long hours of hunting, Crosby tried checking in into the Hotel Vancouver and was denied due to his outfit being not worthy such a luxurious setting. And you can guess what he was wearing. Exactly. Levi denim on denim, which by that time was not an upper class attire. I mean, even today, denim is not something you will want to wear if you want to look dressed up. It is more of a casual outfit. Quickly after, he was recognized and everything finishes well for Crosby, but Levi saw this opportunity and created a jean tuxedo. It was made from brand's classic 501 jeans and jacket and on the interior of the jacket was written Notice to all hotel men. Not only tuxedo became famous, but also the receptionist who could recognize someone in double denim. So that was a brief story on how denim on denim came to life and why it's called Canadian tuxedo. Double denim is a modern and stylish outfit today that is easy to pair as everyone has these two pieces in their wardrobe. Just throw in some belt and some accessories and you're ready for a stylish day. Triple denim on denim can also be very stylish and look fresh. And in order to not look denim heavy, rule kinda says that denim should be in three different hues of blue. I love same shades of blue denim as well. It can look very stylish and put together without looking too denim heavy. This is a real no-brainer outfit for those days when you're not feeling it, but you still want to look like you care. It may seem that I put a lot of thought when putting together this outfit, but every piece here was almost randomly picked from a wardrobe and in the end I got a stylish look. That is the advantage of having classic pieces. Of course they can have a little twist, like these boots with chain or blouse with bold flower pattern. Yes, the detail make all the difference, because pairing feminine blouse with edgy shoes and boxy blazer, we manage to toughen the feminine look or soften an edgy one and this combo will always look cool and modern. Denim skirt is really a core item that can be styled in numerous ways and it is the piece that if I was creating a wardrobe all over again, I would definitely include. But in all honesty, it is not a piece that I often reach for, however, it is a mandatory item in my wardrobe because in the back of my head I know that if I have nothing to wear, quote unquote, it got my back. When it comes to choosing a denim skirt, I like to wear one that is high-waisted as I like to tuck in my tops and these to me look best with high-rise. Little bit of stretch is also very welcome as it will hug your body in all the right places. Short or long, this depends on your personal choice and occasion. Structured shoulder double-breasted blazer with pinstripes is a real staple in every closet and it is a great substitute for a plain black blazer. Mine is actually dark navy, which I find very chic. When it comes to pinstripe blazer, I prefer them to have thin stripe rather than wide ones because it just look more chic. This kind of blazer brings a little more interest into the outfit and creates a subtle yet striking effect that is great for stylish evenings as well. I love my neutrals and basics, but it can be challenging to figure out new ways to wear the same items over and over again, so that's why it is a good idea to include a few bold pieces and accessories that will help us overcome repetition. Needless to say that white button-down shirt is such a classic that if anyone who watches my channel so far does not already own one, has homework to do. But is it button-down or button-up? I never could figure. <laughs> Anyways, look what happens when you combine these two perfectly classic pieces. You get a timeless and modern outfit. And that's what I love about styling classic pieces. They're just exquisite style savvy. The secret of successfully styling white shirt is in accessories. While plain white button down could look too basic, accessorizing is the absolute key to bring out your personal style and uniqueness. 
Shades have a striking impact on the style without breaking the bank. Shades and hair, two very impactful factors when it comes to style. You can always add a scarf as a detail to complete the look. Such a classic pieces like denim skirt and white shirt are leaving us so much space to play with belts, jewelry, necklaces and round them off the way we want. Of course I chose red lipstick because it is my signature style and it is one of the ways to add impact. If white doesn't do you any favor near your face, then opt for cream or acro or any other hue, but usually white is enhancing every skin tone. When pairing a white shirt with eye-catching shoes, this daring combination adds an instant wow factor to your look. Even though these shoes has a very classic style, color has huge impact on the outfit. But really, any shoes will go well with this outfit. You can also try flat leather boots, I will leave that to you. This outfit really puts me in the mood for spring this year. Additionally, simplicity of a white button-down shirt with denim skirt conveys a sense of elegance and modern look. And to me, honestly, white shirt is so chic even if it's not combined with anything. Okay, so this was it for me. Please let me know which outfits will work the best for you and which one will you recreate. And I will see you soon. Bye!